by the Interagency Council Against Trafficking, or the IACAT, together with its on stage. Secretary of Justice, Menardo I. Guevara, for his welcome message. Even after such advancement in the law, the inhuman trade of humans persisted. Economies and civilizations were built around this trade. It is no wonder that slavery has broken the very fabric of nations from nations in which the enslaved were forcibly taken to those in which they have been forcibly traded and brought. It has destroyed families and communities and brought war to even the mightiest of economies. Today, men, women, and children are still traded, forced into labor and to live under conditions that strip them of their human dignity. They are trafficked globally. There are nameless bonded laborers kept in sweatshops to produce goods for distribution to global consumers. There are families broken apart that others thousands of miles away may enjoy the service and comfort that money and affluence can afford. No individual, community, or government that heralds respect for the fundamental equality of every human person can argue against this. It is from a deep understanding of this common principle that we gather today in the fourth iteration of the Manila Dialogue. The Manila Dialogue reminds the international community of the need for a collective and common response to human trafficking. At a time when the network for the trafficking of persons has spanned the globe, approaches that are individualistic and segmented are proving ineffective. The Manila Dialogue is a call for international cooperation that those who seek to profit from the trafficking of our fellow human beings may no longer exploit the present vulnerabilities in the legal and enforcement systems of our nations. Ladies and gentlemen, the threat of trafficking is real and imminent. It is a threat that respects no law or boundaries. It is a threat that may only be contained by peoples whose sacrifices create a protective shield around every human person, regardless of color, nationality, creed, gender, or age. Your presence here today is a resounding affirmation of our readiness to counter that threat in this manner. In your efforts, we not only derive inspiration, but marshal the belief in the very real possibility of a world where humanity may be freed from all forms of modern slavery.